All right, so I am back with you with another root gameplay. And it uh, looks like I randomly got the Woodland Alliance, of course, uh, on the winter map. Interesting. Okay. I think I actually did a, I think I did a Woodland Alliance on the winter map actually kind of semi-recently. Okay, so we've got Cleeter. I think that's how you say that, as the Marquis de Cat. Kukamanda as the Erie Dynasty, and Kexco as the Riverfolk Company here today. Fortunately, we will not be doing much buying from the Riverfolk Company today, as I am the Woodland Alliance, so that is kind of unfortunate. Seems like I get random Woodland Alliance a lot, but I feel like if I do anything else but random, it is harder for people to join a game. All right, so the Marquis are going to be placing their sawmill up in the top right fox corner, crafting station right below it in the mouse clearing, and recruiter in the fox clearing uh, down below as well from the keep. Roost is obviously starting opposite. Let's see what leader they're going to go with. What leader are they going to choose? Hmm. With this match set up, they could... Okay, okay, sweet. <clears throat> oh, and I got two foxes and a wild, which is not too bad. Uh, so two foxes and a wild. Okay, so I need to think about... Uh, this is a really good start. I could go here, here, and here. Um, that's a good start for my first three sympathy. Um, let's see if there's any other good options. That's pretty much the only way that I could get all three down. All right, I could also go up, but the thing about that is I want to be able to get all three down in the very first turn of the game. <clears throat> okay, let's see what cards. Oh, we got a root tea in here. Uh, bake sale. I'll just such a good hand. I really wish that I was uh, a faction that was not the Woodland Alliance right now. Ugh. It'd be so nice to to buy these. But, you know, just the Woodland Alliance, you just gotta, you gotta just, like, come to terms with the fact that you can't get the cards that you would love to have and own. Uh, I do have a pretty good hand, though, considering, and especially since I have two foxes and I started with the Arms Trader, uh, that's a pretty good setup for a craft. It's probably not going to happen first turn because I'll, I'll be hit here. Very likely by the Marquis de Cat or the River Folk, so that's probably not going to work. I feel like my most biggest struggle in this game is probably going to be the River Folk for some reason. Depending on how good of a player they are, I just feel like it's going to be hard for me to slow them down. And a lot of times when you have the, the Wa in a game with the River Folk, people are going to be focusing on the Wa problem. And then the river folk will just kind of do its thing. Yeah, the otters have a great hand. It's like way too good. What did they set their prices to? Three? Okay, that's good. Well, at least it's three. And okay, so they, so they built the sawmill up here. Uh, a new sawmill, sorry. Uh, into the fox clearing up here. And they're going to overwork. Nice. And I think they're probably going to build again. Probably a recruiter. There it is. And a recruiter over in the far corner over here. So yeah, I think I'll probably just do my original plan and just get all three of these out because it's more important that I get all three out. Hmm. And then if they pop one of the uh, fox clearings, then I can just revolt in the other fox. Unless they take both fox, um, and then that would suck. Oh, did they just craft that? Oh, no, no, they spent it. My bad. For another action. I'm surprised they didn't recruit. They're going to do a move, and it looks like they're going to leave that clearing entirely. The best place that you want your sympathy is in clearings with no pieces. So I wish I could have started a little bit more on this side, because then you get more supporters out of um, every sympathy token. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that. All right. Erie Dynasty went with the charismatic leader. 
So they might be doing a kind of bursty bird strategy where they're trying to get all of their roosts out really quickly and then transitioning over to the despot leader uh, in order to kind of clean up the endgame tokens of the river folk and my sympathy. That's very possible. Um, also might just be that they want a lot of recruits. Maybe they... Well, yeah, usually if you don't... Oh, they place their second wild and recruit. Oh, they're going to do a turn one turmoil. Yeah, they're going to they're going to go out. <laughs> yeah. OK. Uh, yeah, so, um, I actually, that's funny. Um, I'll link the gameplay where I pull off this strategy as well, the turn one turmoil. So that's, that's really fun. I, I can't even, I don't even want to look at the hand of cards cause it's going to make me too sad. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that. Obviously I don't have anywhere to revolt in. Oh, it sucks so bad. I wish that I didn't have to start in these spots, but it just has to be. So we're going to go ahead and start right here, and I'm sure this is going to be the one, like I said, that's going to be uh, taken out. But we're just going to go ahead and spread down here. Start this game off pretty strong. Um, hmm. I can't craft this yet, but this is actually a pretty good craft for me. Um, oh, I'm, I'm dumb. I think I'm going to craft this sword right out of the gate. That's going to put me as like a... Enemy, enemy target number of one right now. Um, yeah, probably not so great. I'm just going to throw that one and mobilize and we'll move on. I'm going to keep on to the ambush, even though it might have been smarter to throw it into my supporters. I'm keeping it on, or sorry, I'm keeping it on because, you know, I can use my ambush for other things. Uh, defending and, you know, it's good. Okay. I got the bag. This is definitely going to be one of those, since there's no Vagabond in play, like, this is where it's basically a race to get all the good items, so that's why I'm totally okay with kind of taking that sword aggressively. Especially because we've got an Otter player with a very powerful hand <laughs> with, like, Root Tea and Bake Sale. It's, like, some of the best crafts. All they would, all they would need was the hammer. Okay, what's the Riverfolk Company going to do? Hmm, okay. Give me some, some outrage. Give me a fox supporter there. Oh, interesting. Okay, they're going to place trade post. All right. Uh, now, wait, wait, I keep clicking the wrong button. Okay, I'm surprised they didn't go for a mouse or a bunny trade post to try and get these crafts themselves, but... Went with a fox trade post. They gave me a support. Okay, interesting. That was... That was a... I'm kind of surprised they didn't attack my sympathy token there. I mean, to be fair, they didn't really need to. It's really the cats that are going to want to do it. So maybe they just didn't want to waste their actions. So in that case, I guess I'm surprised. Where did they end up? Ah, well... I guess I'm kind of surprised that they didn't place their trade post here to kind of like pr prepare to at least pressure the bake sale, the bake sale craft. So, all right, what's the Marquise de Cat going to do now? They're going to have to probably take out this sympathy token, um, which in that case means that I'll revolt here unless they take out both of these sympathy tokens in which I'll probably have a pretty good amount of supporters to kind of move out this way and get in the way of the Eerie, but I don't know if I want to do that too much because they're going to be getting two points for each of my sympathy tokens, so that's probably not going to be so good.
Okay, spending both their wood to place yet another recruiter in that Fox Central clearing there. Uh, yep, I, could, I saw that one coming. Good old recruit. They could, they have a pretty great setup for a Fox dominance. I kind of want to mention that, but I don't want to be like, you know, all anti Marquise de Cat for the very first turn or couple turns of the game. Obviously, I am a threat, and I know the players can definitely destroy me. All right, so I kept on to my ambush um, because obviously, if, even if I ambushed them, wouldn't have really done much. <clears throat> that is like the best card I could have drawn off the top of the deck. Getting a wild is great. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, are they going to take the other one? Oh, what do they got in their hand? Oh, they've got the other sword. Cool. So, oh, they're not really preparing for crafting that, but they do have the other sword, so that's nice. Oh, boy. Hmm, okay, so they're gonna make a move. Doing a march action here. Huh. Trying to figure, let's see. Kind of, I mean, maybe they're trying to push their, no, he's gonna just leave. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, so I don't know what's going on. I I have a strong feeling that there is going to be a dominance, a fox dominance attempt here. So we got to watch for that. Okay, so what is the Eerie going to do? They're going to move. Let's see their decree. Okay, so they got to move for mouse. Yeah, just an absolute crap ton of warriors coming in slowly here. Insane. And place down that roost. Oh, oh, that was good. That was good. I like that. Moved even more forward, kind of clogging up what the what the Marquise can do. Cards are only two right now. Oh my gosh, for these crafts. Jeez Louise, my word. That is too good. I can't do it, but I don't know. Maybe I should. It's like such a bad idea, but I could craft the the T right now. Get some extra points here. Oh, man. Now, it's such a bad idea. He could just... They could just choose not to ever give me back my wars, and I'd be out too for the whole game. But it's possible that they don't really... They're not really thinking of the fact that that could happen. I've already been bought from once this turn, so they're going to have quite a few... Yeah, I, I just don't think I can risk it, even though I would like to do it. And um, I think I am going to go ahead and revolt, just because I always want to get that revolt out if you can, even though this is not where I would probably like prefer to revolt on this turn. I'll still take it. It's a start, you know? Might as well spread out here. That way, if this bird tries to make some movement they will pay. Now, is it going to be a better idea to get another officer or do I craft the bag? I think to deny players, I'm going to craft the bag. 
just to deny them of that bag craft. The points matter in this type of scenario here. And I think just this turn will just be a recruit, and that's that's a good setup. Oh my gosh, <laughs> such a good two ambushes. Ugh, so many wilds. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> Soup kitchens, huh? Interesting. Okay, so this river folk is giving back payments pretty quickly. Maybe I could have afforded. Oh, that is. This river folk player, I think almost. Oh, that was pretty good. But yeah, they might have kind of. I mean, you know, they don't have a lot of funds now. They only have one commitment. This is going to kind of hurt their economy. If they're going to leave their cards at two, uh, their action economy for a couple turns is going to be really low right now. And getting paid again to take a card. Um, I don't remember what they took. I mean, I would think that it would have been the wild. Yeah, it was the wild. That way they can get another action. Oh, and they're going to craft the bag. The second bag. See, this is why that matters. All right. So, oh, man, I'm very... I'm just going to voice my concerns early. Because if I don't voice them early, I may never be able to say the words before it's too late. And then we're all screwed and the game is over. So I had to voice my concerns right now. <laughs> this double ambush is brutal. Man, oh, banana. Okay, no chat, no chat, no chat back. Apparently nobody wants to talk to me. Choosing a building type, getting another sawmill out. Okay, so the, the Marquis to Cat, they're pretty online now. Three recruiters, three sawmills, a good balance kind of build. Getting that extra card draw. Three recruits per recruit action. It's good. This is a good this is a good start. Okay, so I'm glad that Kukamanda got back and said, yeah, also worried because it is worrisome. There there could definitely be some some bad stuff going on here. Now the Marquis de Cat can field hospital the troops that they just lost back at their keep. And it looks like they're gonna do that. That was a sword for one. Whew. And spending a card to get another action. Will this be another attack? Another battle or maybe a move? Huh. Yep, another move. Lots of maneuvering. So far, this has been kind of solid and not, you know, benefiting me at all. Like, no player is... I mean, that's part, part due to my positioning, but it is uh, it is really good to just, like, not kind of touch any of my stuff right now because it makes me not be able to spread. It makes my whole kind of early game a little slower. I don't know why, but I just have this, like, random urge to want to craft soup kitchens. No idea why. I think it would be funny. Probably pointless. Definitely pointless. Most Mostly pointless. But yeah, no, that's definitely not a good move. I think I'll probably just use it for training. 
So we want to get we want to get some officers up. We need some evening actions to go around here. Oh boy, okay. Yuri is moving even deeper. Are they going to move down? Or are they going to move up and get behind in the sawmill area? Oh, just fed me some cards. Okay, well, what do they got? Informants? Okay. Ooh, doing the easy roost. Nice. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pocket that one. Because I don't have anything I can spend it on. Do they still have it? Oh my gosh, they still have that card. I can't believe anybody, nobody has bought that. Alright, no clearing to revolt in and nowhere to spread some sympathy, so we're just going to move straight to here and we are going to go ahead and get a good old officer. I'd like to do it again, but honestly this is just too good. It's just too, too good. I can get a roost down right here. Can take it out if they attack here, so it's not really free points. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at that. And hmm, I think it's like I said, slow and steady. So we'll get a recruit. And we're just gonna move one out. We're gonna move one out, and we're gonna move them here. So if they don't take, if they don't take this trade post, then I will, and I'll get a point out of it. Oh my gosh, this hand. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'd already crafted one of the root teas, but I will be able to craft the second root tea. That's guaranteed, because the other root tea is here. That's the third one. <laughs> There's no way that anybody else can craft it. Oh my gosh, this hand is impeccable. Two ambushes. Two root teas. I am set for the winter. That's all I'm gonna say. All right. So it looks like they're doing some card drawing, trying to entice their hand a little bit with the three actions that they have. Kind of a kind of a boring turn for the river folk. Like I said, their their action economy was gonna be low for the next couple of turns because of uh, they they went with two trade posts and just kind of lost a lot of that early game action economy for points. Um, okay, so we got the cat. Uh, like I said, I'm still worried about a dominance play, a fox dominance. We haven't seen that one pop up just yet. Uh, and they're only two points away from being able to pull that off. I, I don't think I'm actually that worried now that I think about it, though. It's going to depend on the movement for Erie because they do have a lot of troops, but to be able to move into one of the fox clearings might be difficult. But it's so, three right by each other like this is such a good defensible position for it. So I'm worried. Um, but they've got, they've got a really good setup for like just a standard game too. Because this, this area kind of went with a bold early game play. So they're not really pressuring the Marquise as much. The Marquise almost has all of their cats out already. This is like the perfect opportunity to go for that, for that uh, play right there. They might not have the card though, but if they build, they, they've got it. If they build what, they've got three wood? Yeah, they could build the building that they need and then they've got the amount that they need to go for a Fox Dominance. It's probably gonna happen, unfortunately. Mm, scratch that. The River Folk can stop that pretty well though. The river folk could just move in here and probably, you know, hack and slash. Uh, it's it's such a danger. Dominance plays are so hard to pull off. Like so incredibly hard. <laughs> okay, cat is moving. Are they going to do the old get every single cat into three clearings? Uh, the consolidation is already starting. I just don't think this is that smart. Oh, okay. They're going to protect. Okay. They're moving from trade posts to protect their sawmills. That's fair. That's fair. They are getting set up for it. I can just see it right now, I think. 
but they left this trade post so I can get I can get a couple points out of this clearing right here because uh, I can just take this off the 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 trade post and then drop down my own sympathy there which would be kind of cool and one of these cards uh, ah no fox card forgot and I might actually use an ambush to get to train honestly at this point I really need more than just two officers. Especially because people ain't moving on my stuff. Mm. Oh, they're in a battle in Fox. Wait. Battle to battle in Fox? Where on earth? Okay. They're going to move out from here to here and then to battle in Fox here. If it's anything else, I'd be very concerned. I guess they could... Nope, that's got to be it. Yep, so recruit. Their movement's going to be seven, one, there. Two attacks at this sawmill. Gosh, that would be killer if they were able to get three, three or something or other. Oh, boy. They're not... So they're probably going to leave two guys, sorry, two eerie warriors here to confirm that they can get the roost out. Nope. Okay. So they're going sketch. They're going real sketch. Because if this, if they don't get a three, three on their next one, like let's say they got a zero, zero here, then they go into turmoil. Nice. Okay. So they survived. That's brutal. And then they can drop the roost. You know, you gotta give you gotta give praise where praise is due. It was sketchy, but it was epic. <laughs> like risky move. Very, very bold play from uh, from the eerie. Okay, so no clearing to revolt in, no clearing to spread in. I'm gonna craft the other T. Which is so rude, but I got to do it. I got to do it. Um, color wise, where's my next base going to be? Oh, it doesn't really matter. I think I think what I'll do is I'll probably just use this one. Because this root T is going to go into mobilize. Uh, mobilize that one. I've got two mice. I could do another revolt here. Um, and I think... I think... I feel like I gotta do it. I don't know, maybe it wasn't a wise decision, but I just, I'm feeling really starved for... Wait, do they have an ambush? No, but you always gotta check, just in case. So first off, we'll do a battle action. We're gonna steal this point from under the Marquis' nose. Then we're going to turn into a sympathy token. And then we're going to recruit. That's a pretty fair turn. Oh my gosh, now we got the boot. And another ambush. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the only ambushes I have at seed so far are, uh, are mouse and fox. I, I know that fox is in the decree here, but that's, that's wild. I've had so many ambushes this game. Insane. Insane. Okay, Riverfolk Company, what are they going to do? Uh, honestly, I should be hit. Like, people at this point in the game should be dealing with me. Um, I shouldn't be able to... <sighs> to be fair, I have crafted a lot. Like, that's the reason why my points are so high right now. And they're not really giving me very many supporters. I haven't really done that kind of a game. I'm just basically crafting stuff. And it looks like next we're going to be crafting boots. So, all right. I might be able to place a sympathy here due to these two here. Or do I want to revolt? Two bases? I mean, that's a good card draw. Mm, okay, so we see another attack on the Marquise. See, now this is the thing. Like, too much... <laughs> I don't think I would have attacked them again. I don't know. Really, they just need like one, one tap 
And I think then that's like a good enough kind of, you know, like slow them down type of deal. Like the Yuri, they should be attacked more when they're trying to slow them down because they have a quicker engine. Whoa, I never like zoom in on the game anymore like this. But you know, a good reminder that this game is adorable. Look at that. Look at how cute. Look at how cute. Look at how cute. Look at this little baby recruiter in here. That's adorable. Look at that. Look at what the sawmill does when you click on it. That is cute. Wood does nothing. Blue leaves are falling out of that roost there. Anything? Yeah, that sawmill is fun. Wait, wait, trade station? Oh, that is so boring. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the Marquise is in a little bit of a bind here because this wood is, is, <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> Unfortunately, that wood's traveling is, is kind of locked up right now. Um, but they've got a lot of warriors. They've got a ton of cats on the board. All but four. They could get three more out this turn. They don't have to worry about the sympathy token uh, because I already have a fox base. So I hope they're able to see that. So I don't think I would spend an action punching this uh, unless they desperately needed the point. But I just don't think that's really wise. They are going to go ahead and recruit. So yeah, they've got everything but they've got every single cat on the board except for one. Insane. All right. So kind of a, I don't know, kind of a like behind the scenes turn for, 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 for cats there. I don't, I don't know, maybe their hand wasn't very great or I feel like they would want to get the upper hand in this combat here and try to take down some of these units, uh, being able to kind of, maybe they don't have any Fox cards. They weren't able to kind of bring them back up to the keep or something. But this six warriors in here with the two free tokens is kind of brutal, especially with the despot leader. And cutting off this whole supply line here is, is rough. I hope they attack me here so that I can take a roost from them. That would be fun. They have to do two battles in Fox, though, so they're going to have to move forward. They're essentially just going to have to kind of push forward here because this might only take one combat. So if they don't risk it and bring one warrior in here, they could go into turmoil. So I'm sure they're planning to do that. So one of the moves will be moving from here into there, which would be their wild move. Their mouse move is going to be something from here. Has to be. So they probably just move an eerie down or an eerie up. But we'll see. So they're going to do one move from here to here and then one move from here to here, I think. Or from here to here. They've got to do it. they got to do it. sketchy oh they're they're undoing what they they're undoing their decree yeah i think that was probably a little sketchy for them okay oh they took out the recruit that's probably fair because if that mouse roost got destroyed they would go into turmoil so they're opting for a different strat here. Oh, they're going to get another move. There we go. Is that another move? Yeah. That's probably wiser. That opens up more opportunity and another battle. Interesting. Crafted the crossbow. Nice. Oh, 
gonna craft this freaking boot. Oh no, they crafted, they got a guy. No. Now if they attack, I won't be able to just take. I could keep on to this though and, and get that boot out, but that also might just be an easy spot to get. Well, wait, oh, they got a wild battle, okay. So I was right about them moving a guy, uh, an eerie warrior up there. They're gonna move an eerie, I think, this, this, this warrior right here up to this mouse or down to this bunny. That move is intriguing. Okay. I see where they're going because this is just so many points in here. Oh, this is such an aggressive game right now. So I don't actually think they're going to be spending any of the actions to take out this, this one right here. Okay with me. I think they're going to go battle, battle, battle then. Yeah, they got to do it. Now they have to do it. Now they have to battle here and here. This Eerie is like playing inside the Marquise de Cat's base right now. It's pretty sketch. Like that was another very risky move. I wish I didn't have as many ambushes so that they could be burnt from this. <laughs> very, very risky bird. Oh, they're doing well. Are they going to... Oh, shoot. Oh, they're going to get four more points. They'll be at 18. It's really good. Oof. I ain't buying nothing. Okay, so I could revolt... But if I don't revolt, I could spread some sympathy. But if I do that... Huh. That is gonna get me... This will get me another warrior. And it will also get me... Another officer without having to spend a card. And a point. I'll do it. I'm so sorry, cats. This is a rough. I needed the money. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Well, let's craft this boot. And I think I want to do... A movement here. So two from here to here, and then a movement of three in here. Let's go. The three one took the roost out. Now that actually might have been a bad idea now that I think about it. <clears throat> That actually might have been a bad idea. Because thinking about it... Oh, I drew my own coin. Let's go. And I got the other boot. Okay, that's good. So I just defended this position. It's like at that point where we just gotta gotta... If River Folk takes the bottom bunny roost and cats take the top, we put them in turmoil.
I did my little part. Wait, what? They're already done with all their actions? Oh my gosh, did they draw cards that whole turn? No. No, they wouldn't have. Oh, too late. Wait, maybe not? Oh my gosh. <laughs> No! Oh my word, what in the world did they do? One second. Commits two funds to draw a card. Commits two funds to draw a card. They had five actions and they just did draw cards? They have six units here. They could have moved down and attacked. Oh boy. Oh no, that's not good. Wait, what? There's a free roost here just to pop and make sure that they don't score that many? Oh man, oh banana. That's rough. That's just rough. Hmm. The Marquis de Cat still has a lot of units, and I would like to see them punch the Eerie back, you know? Kind of take out some of their stuff, make sure that they can't just get whatever they want. We can decrease the amount of points they score by taking their roost. Like, you can punch back. You're not out, Cleeter. You're not out of the game. I'm just trying to make the game go long enough so I can win at this point. <laughs> I'm trying to stop. I'm trying to slow down the, the Eerie, but it's it's not really an easy job for me to slow down the Eerie. I have to convince everybody else to kind of help slow them down. So this is not an easy feat. I'll say that much. Mm. Man, you know what? I really need more coffee. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, we got some movement. Eight, seven, six. Okay, these these warriors out here could definitely be kind of pushed around a little bit to kind of take care of some business out here. Uh, Ten at the keep. It's wild. Got to take back what's yours, Marquis de Cat. You got to take back what's yours. Fox, really? Okay. Well, maybe... Were they able to get the roost? They were not able to get the roost. They still have another action, though? They could take the roost. And nobody's attacking me. I have had these ambushes for way too long, which shows that nobody really cares about me anymore, which is good. It's a good spot to be in. Alright, sweet. So we took another roost, so that brings them... That, that, that kind of slows it down a little bit, because they've got a battle in these fox clearings. So they've got a free battle here, but they're going to have to maneuver units all the way over to fox again. Oh, no, no, they've got these two. I forgot. I forgot. they got these two. So they've got a free battle here, then they've got a battle here, then they've got a battle here. But their recruit is not going to match up with how much... Yeah, this is, this is going to be a really tough turn for the Eerie right now. The problem I'm seeing is just unit count is low. Oh boy, there's the mouse and recruit. You take this roost right here and they go into turmoil. The good thing is for them is that they only have three birds in their decree. So it's not super insane. If they go into turmoil, they're definitely going to go for commander, which is basically just like the wall buster. So, oh boy. I hope they stick with this plan because that would make life easy with this right here. This river folk is confusing the heck out of me, man. Oh. All 
I think the Eerie is in a pretty tough position. I definitely do not envy their their position right now in the game. I do not envy it. And their their decree out here looking like Skittles. All right, so here it is, the end of the Eerie Dynasty. Uh, because, I mean, there is a mouse here. There is a mouse here that's going to be really hard to get to. There is a mouse way out here. I just don't know if they're going to be able to pull that off. I guess they can move in, move in, and hope to destroy this. with their five, but then that's going to leave these. Okay, I don't know. They're playing a sketchy game. This whole time they've been playing a sketchy game. What do you got? And I can't wait for the Duchy and the Corvids to be added to this and the lake map and underworld map. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm sorry, mountain. Mountain map. So excited. Imagine how many more games of Root I can I can play and more vari variants, you know, instead of just the winter map and the autumn map every single time, we can actually have more options. I just cannot wait. Cannot wait. Ah. I don't think this is my game. We'll see, but I don't think it is. Did they just undo? They've got a sketchy decree. I get where they come from. If they don't get a mouse right now, this decree is even sketchier. Oh my gosh, they're leaving a roost completely undefended. They're bringing a guy back for the movement. I see. Very clever. Uh, wait, wait, wait. They still have mouse and they have wild. So mouse... This is sketch. Somebody just needs to take this roost and they'll go. Yeah, their problem is unit count, like I said. Oh, they're coming in to the bunny here. This is going to be their way of getting the roost out, I believe. Oh my gosh, they left the, the roost completely empty. Literally, if this is just popped, they go into turmoil right now. It's going to really hurt their game. Man, this puts the cats in a better position, I'll say that much. Hmm. No cards in hand. I mean, they made it work. They're probably going to attack. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fair because that's a free point. Two points. Gosh, a bit 20. We got 20, 23, but they're going to go down three and lose everything. Okay. Um, if either river folk or cat takes the mouse roost on the left side of the map, they turmoil. And it's free to take. Okay, I just had to let people know because I feel like people just don't see things sometimes and it drives me nuts. All right, I need to get more stuff. What can I craft? An evening, if you would draw cards, you may instead take one ambush card. Oof, I don't think that's a very good idea. I think right now I'm going to go heavy on the mobilize. So we're going to get this one too. These we're all going to keep because I want to get investments out. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just keeping on to these ambushes, but I don't know if it's wise anymore. Ugh, I don't know. Oh, I might as well. I can't even move out of here, so... Could attack. If I got a 3 3, that would be bad though. Hmm. No, 
Nice. The 2 0. Let's go. Uh, that was good. Because, you know, they're, they're lacking warriors already. So this is just kind of a good way to get some more stuff. I'm going to get this one out. Honestly, I'm living a sketchy life right now. I don't have that much going on. Like, I'm scarcely protected. Ooh, this is like the best card. I need this really bad. Mm. But this is good for my... I want to craft this. Treat rivers as paths. It's pretty good. The movability is great. But I don't think I'll... Huh? Either way. Oh, shuckles. One had to be gone. Surprised there's been no table talking against me, honestly, but you know, I'll just keep living in the background. Players should learn by now that you shouldn't let a player live in the background. All right, there they go. So that's good work. There goes the decree for the Yuri. That's great. That's great. I think we're hitting them way too hard now. Cats still have a... <laughs> oh my gosh. This is punching them in the dirt. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, okay, cats. I need to be hit too, so I'm not going to say anything more. <laughs> I'm not gonna just like play the table that much. I, I definitely need to be hit like somebody should I'm sure the cats will probably do something but With all my like ambushes too, I don't know, I'm in a pretty good defensible position at the moment But I haven't been able to really spread, you know, they haven't been really feeding me any support Everything I've gained I've earned All right, so Hmm interesting Other hand Oh my gosh, the fact. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my word, they're gonna be able to craft coins next turn. I believe that's the case. Man, I really wish I was able to craft coins. There's no way, but I wish. There's also no way, oh my gosh, that was pointless. There's no way for me to place the sympathy because I can't place it here, so I can't get to here. Man, that sucks. Propaganda Bureau will help a lot because I'll just be able to convert and then sympathize. No, another payment to the river folk? Dangerous. I'm kind of like on the no more payment of the river folk at this point, but what's going on? You should attack this sympathy right here, Mr. Cat. Ah! Oh, that was rude. Took my ambush with swap meat. That's a really good card to grab. They're definitely not giving me that back. I feel I'll make that open information. Because they stole it from me, I'm gonna immediately rat them out with the info. Hmm. 
honestly, I think we're at the point where we have to take the Riverfolk units. But this is not helping the fact that the freaking cats are giving them, you know, two points each at this point. They return those for places that they rule here. I mean, ugh, yikes. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. I guess we'll see what happens. Man, I feel so bad for the Eerie right now, dude. They are uh, they are down to dirt here. Not enough recruiting. Oof, it's gonna hurt. Oh, they got the big sale out. Nice. That was clean. Uh, cause, oh my gosh, there's still one coin left. Wait, wait. Oh, they stole it. Oh, that is... Oh, that is bad. Oh my gosh. I think Riverfolk might have the game, honestly, now at this point. Man, oh, banana. Brutal. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh boy, this next turn could be bad. That's all I'm gonna say. I feel like to save the game, I almost gotta like. I just wanna look. No, there's nothing. Can't do anything. Decline. Supporters have not been kind to me. I want to craft the propaganda bureau, so I'm gonna go ahead and craft it. I think I'm going to just put boat builders into my mobilize area. I could also get another. I could go five officers. Should I? Should I? Wait. Oh my word, it's in daylight. Oh, that's cold. Oh, oh, that is rich, man. I, oh, no, 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 there's no way, but I could do something cool. I could convert this bad boy over here. Why not? I think that was a pretty fair move because we got to take their units somehow. Uh, these two can't even move past it, so I'd have to go one, two, and then, yeah, that's, that's not going to be good. Three, yeah, then I would have to recruit back here. Oh, boy. Okay, so that'd be one, two, one attack would be three. Hmm. I'm not in the, the high scoring just yet. Because I'm not really in a great position. I guess I could go... I could go one... Two... Three...
and just have like a ton of units everywhere and then I could just do some crazy oof that's hard it's a hard choice it's hard it's tough I think that might be the best though I could have just attacked no no I could I go one yeah I think I need to get out of here I think this is fair. So we did nothing this turn, but we're going to have a lot. Oh my gosh, another ambush. <laughs> <laughs> Eight actions? insane they've got two four six points right here right two four six eight gosh dude it's close now oh, here we go the the rush I actually kind of feel cool about doing that one because it keeps my sympathy on the board and it scores me a point on an off turn. So that was kind of low. Oh, I took their trade post on an off turn. So they have to remove their funds. Oh, that's low. Oh, that was, <laughs> oh my gosh. How many did they have to remove? Half. Oh my word. Man, oh banana. So that, that really hurt them. That's pretty brutal. So now I have a pretty strong setup here because... Oh man, I really hope they don't take the, the mouse base. If they take the fox base, that would be great. But the mouse base, it would suck. I think I am... Let's see. It's one, two, three. Yeah, no, I'm still pretty far out, honestly. But this this is looking good and plus all of the the stuff because I got one two three oh they stuck me here that's smart uh so that's two two three yeah it's not really enough Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Ah, uh, it's probably not gonna be able to happen. That was really a brutal moment right here in the fox clearing. That that determined a lot, actually. Uh, so, am I going to be attacked this turn is the next question, because they took a sympathy here, meaning I can place the sympathy back out, which means that I would actually turn into two, three, four, never mind. 
So if they go two plus two, that'd put me at 18. 18 plus four is 22, plus three is 25, plus two is 27. If I was able to craft the, the coins that turn, I would have... That could have been a win. Dang. So close. Uh, maybe I should have placed that, that <laughs> ambush into, uh, into uh, my mobilize. That could be... That would have been... Okay, like, in a perfect scenario, I could have game next turn, but... I don't think that's going to happen anymore. The otters? No, I need to be gotten. I mean, I'm going to let him say that, but I need to be gotten. I don't think they realize the power that is in my position right now with these alliance warriors just getting ready to organize. Ooh, if a base goes down, it could be detrimental. It would be detrimental, actually. Are the cats going to take a base or not? It's a good question. It's a good question. That hurts. That stops me from spreading right here. Hmm? What is happening? What? Oh, my word. They're going for a mouse. I mean, kind of a good play here. Gosh, but there's so many points out in the middle of nowhere right now. Oh, my word. The bird can clean up a lot of points right now. That might be that's game for birds, right? Because move and battle, oh my gosh, they got what? One, two, three, four. Uh, four, that's uh, 26, 27, 28, 29. Ah, oh, now they, they're close. Well, actually, if they were able to clean up all of these and get a roost down, but yeah, there's no, there's no way. Man, that's a lot of points though. I would like them to move in because if they moved in, no, there's not really a way. I need a fox card of some sort. Yeah. Basically just taking all of their infrastructure. I mean, those are points for every other player, so to be fair, it's not really a bad move. Oh, that's such a sad roll, though. Oh, what, the plus one? Oh, and they got another one? Wait. What was my mind? No, that's their last battle, yeah. Oh, boy. I 
I don't know how to stop that one. I have no clearing to revolt in. I can still somehow place one here, but I still couldn't win. Wait, if I place that one there, that puts me at two. So if I get two there, that puts me at 18. I've got one action, two action, three action. I could convert this player, that would be four. Okay, so if I already got two, that would put me at 18. So then this would be 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I think I won. No, I don't know. We'll see. Because if I do this, that puts me at 18. Now I'd have to use, this is why this card is so good. Because I have to use this and then I'd have to convert this piece. And then I have four actions, so that's one, two, three, four. Oh no, I don't have the warrior! Oh, it was one action off. Nah, I miscalculated. I don't have the warrior. So, that sucks. I think cats will have it then, which is awesome because that would be a really good cats... Um, be a really good cats... Wait one second. So, let me see if I can help somewhere else then. Uh, I guess I could... Eight, three... I don't really think there's anywhere I can see here. I guess I could just do that again, but just kind of convert one of these. I could convert this one. I'd bring it down to six. I've got one, two. If I convert, or sorry, flip, flip. I flip here, flip here. And then recruit, recruit. One, two. Yeah, I just don't have the units, unfortunately. Oof. Um, okay, and then I'll just throw this one in there. And then go to evening. We're gonna pop this one. And we're going to one. And then we can attack here, which might be a bad idea, but we'll see. Two to one, it's not terrible. But I mean, if they are stopped, then I think, I think I'll win. So it's really close. It's a really, really close one. Man, it's it's so annoying. It's so cool because like, if you think about it, like, there's so many little decisions that I could have done like better that would have basically made sure that I would have won last turn. Which, if I had just flipped the sympathy token. Just one of them. I would have had an extra to be able to place out. Like this one with this grouping of two. If I had flipped one, then I would have had that extra to place out here and would have been able to won the game. So it's like things like that. It's insane. Like, oh, 
still have so much to learn, you know? This is a really, really, really good game. Very, very intermingled. Very, like, super entangled. Uh, whoa. What just happened? That was kind of insane, honestly. Oh my, we're now cleaning up some points in here. Oh my, uh, the, oh, it's so close. <laughs> I mean, the freaking, the six, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I don't know if they have the, the unit count, unfortunately, but it's close. Oh my word. I don't know, man. Now I'm starting to think that I might be able to win because they stopped this, this dominance. There have been some crazy, crazy plays in this game. <laughs> River Fork using false orders to move those units and stop the game from ending is insane. Big brain play here. I mean, it stopped that for one more turn. That was like <laughs> insane. Unfortunately, I think that kind of gives it gives the win. But maybe not. Uh, but I have a lot of opportunities to craft the coins this turn. I think the coins are still here. So that's three. Uh, it's going to be really hard to stop me the next turn. Like, extremely hard. But it's very possible that the Eerie might clean it up. I mean, there's so many... So many things. I don't know. I think at this, at this point in the game, I want to say, like... People got to realize there's so much more to root than, like, face value. And, like, playing the Woodland Alliance, you can definitely play against them. Like, they're not just always going to win. There's so many, like... You got to think about trades and like the economics of playing this faction, which is cool because they're definitely like a more behind the scenes faction at first and they kind of start getting on the scene. But like, I think sometimes that, that end game spiraling is insane. Now that was, that was a bit of a weird, I don't know why that just happened, uh, but probably not a solid idea at all. Unless there was some, they know something I don't. They should not have given me that coin. They they didn't already know that I had one, but the fact that they just gave me one, they should now know. And they're feeding me a ton of points, so... Or sorry, they're feeding me some supporters now. Oh boy. Root is such a good game. It's such a good game. So we know that they won't win this turn, but what they do might affect if... Kukamanda could win this turn. But it looks like they're just going to stop that right there. Oh my gosh. So this is a uh, this is a little bit of a it's a little bit of a king making type scenario. Mm, that was a good play. That was a really good play. So that stops me from getting a they, they played it really well because they balanced it out. They, they stopped this from happening for, for the Eerie to kind of get the free points. And then they stopped me from getting my points here. I th think I still will have it. Definitely because of these supporters. I always forget. Yeah, the supporters will probably make that pretty hard to stop because then I could just use Propaganda Bureau, get another one out. So, but you know, if the birds can i'm trying to look for a way for the birds to do it and that was that was pretty 
That was pretty rough from the from the Marquise there. Just kind of stopped it right there before it could even go any further. Yeah, a lot of people, I think the biggest criticism of the game is actually king making being a mechanic of the game. But honestly, I think it's just, it's great storytelling. And also, um, man, I, you know, maybe I should make a video about just like the mechanic of king making and why I think it's actually great as opposed to um, not great. The gist of it would be that it's king, king making in a way, which is just essentially like another player uh, might cause the other player to win due to their actions. The reason why I think it's great is because that's like how history works usually. It's like armies make mistakes, leaders make mistakes, and because of those mistakes, other people gain the victory when they shouldn't have. They shouldn't have won, maybe they, they didn't have the ability to, but because of uh, movements in history, things that happen, mistakes that are made, or, or just, you know, decisions in general, uh, other people that don't deserve the win, or maybe they do, but, you know, they weren't going to be able to have it, do get it. Like, and like to have like a story that can be said about that in a game of Root is really, really cool. So it's definitely pretty, pretty close and very, very interesting. Ah. Uh... Do they have another coin? Because that would be brutal if they had another coin. Oh no, they don't have cards. Gosh, it's so it's such a close... Oh, every single person. It's that end game puzzle for everyone. They're just like thinking real hard. You know, what? one thing I've noticed is that lately I've noticed that a lot of these games of online root have actually gone on quite a bit longer. And that's good because it shows that players are actually like learning the game and are learning how to kind of stop each faction correctly. In this game, I should have probably lost a base way earlier there was a point at which it would have been really easy for the cats i think and a little bit the eerie to come in and just take a base it just would cost probably two actions which is unfortunately not a lot of what players want to spend but if that had happened i don't think i would have this game because i don't think i would have had the resources necessary really so there's just like all these like little things like sometimes you gotta make moves that don't seem like the right decision that might waste your turn to stop another player, slow them down. And sometimes that's the right move in this game. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I, that honestly would have been a really cool game to see the Eerie close it out. It would have been cool to see the, the Cats win with a dominance victory. And it would have been cool to see the River Folk come out at, at the end and win as well. There's just like a lot of moments where any one of us could have had it. They're going to be, they're going to be, they're going to get one point here. And plus two, two, seven, 28, 29. Yep. They needed one more. If they'd had one more action. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Did they win? Because that would be 28. Oh. <gasps> Let's go! Oh my gosh, that is sick. Oh, that is so cool. 
man, what an, what an incredibly close game. I'm so glad that they ended up doing that. Okay, so they must have then, I guess I missed where they put that. That is just, that is awesome. Man, what a wild game. What a wild, wild game. Thank you to the players, Kukamanda, Kexco, uh, Cleeter. Amazing game. I had such a blast. Um, and if you guys enjoy watching content like this, uh, definitely subscribe and hit the bell notification to kind of be warned when my next video is released like this. Um, I love Root. I love playing Root. And the more that you guys support these types of videos, the more that you will see. Um, but yeah, thank you again to all the players and thank you guys so much for watching up until this point. Um, but with that, let's go ahead and drop the beat.